third one simpsons 3 by 8 rule so it's also known as four point formula so it's known as a four point formula simpsons 3 by 8 rule or a four point formula So in four point, you will be given the limits of integration as a and b. You will have two more points x1 and x2. Alright, we know that x1 will be a plus h and that will be what? a plus 2h. So four point, in this case the number of line segment will be 3. Okay, so let us write down the formula IS2. IS2 denotes what? Simpsons 3 by 8 rule. IS1 denotes simple Simpsons 1 by 3 rule. We have already studied Simpsons 1 by 3 rule. So that will be 3H by 8 FA plus 3FX1 plus 3FX2 plus fb where h equals to b minus a by n and n equals to number of line segment so n will be equals to how much one two and three three so in case of simpsons three by eight rule the number of line segment n will be so h will be b minus a by 3. All right, let us evaluate a problem integral using Simpson's 3 by 2. So use Simpson's 3 by 8 rule to evaluate integration 0 to pi by 2 root over sine x dx. We have done the same problem by using Simpson's 1 by 3 rule. So questions clearly mention the rule. Okay, 3 by 8 rule. So in the problem a is given as 0, b is given as pi by 2. What is fx? fx is given as root over sine x. So what will be the value of h? h will be b minus a by n. b is pi by 2 minus 0 by n will be what? In case of Simpson's 3 by 8 rule, n will be 3. So that will be equals to pi by 6. Okay, so you are given uh, a and b as uh, 0 and pi by 2. So this will be your x1, this will be your x2, x1 and x2, x1 will be a plus h meaning 0 plus pi by 6 that will be pi by 6 alright. This will be a plus 2h means 0 plus 2 into pi by 6 that will be pi by 3. So, by using the formula IS2, Simpsons, second Simpsons, that is Simpsons 3 by 8 rule, we know the formula 3 into H. So, what is H here? H is pi by 6 divided by 8 F of 0 plus 3 into F of X1 means what? Pi by 6. 
plus 3 into f of pi by 3. All right, so f of pi by 2. You have the functions, you can calculate the function of values, you can do the simplification and write on the answer. So that will be, so you can simplify here, that will be pi by 16, do the calculations, it's 5.9131, that will be equals to 1.161, 1.161. So that is the answer. You know it. It's very simple. Okay, let us do another rule. Number four, Simpson's three by eight rule, and next one is Bull's B O O L E apostrophe S rule. That is five point formula. Five points, so you will be given as the limits A and B. This is two points, uh, so add more three point one. So that is a five point formula. All right, so this will be your x one, this will be your x two, this will be your x three. That will be a plus s, that will be a plus two s, that will be a plus three h. Okay, So let us write down the formula first for the Bull's rule. It is denoted as IB, B denotes the Bull. So 2H by 43 will not derive the formula. Seven F A. Plus thirty two FX one plus twelve FX two plus thirty two FX three plus seven FB. All right. So that is the formula for the Bull's rule IB equals to 2H by 45, 7F naught plus 32F1 plus 12F2 plus 32F3 plus 7F4. F sorry, FB. Where? So H will be equals to B minus A by N. Be B minus A by 1, 2, 3, 4 line segment for Bull's rule. So that will be equals to B minus A by 4. Please let me know eh, if you are not being able to type down. So it's simple. So let us do a problem there. Use bulls five point formula.
to compute integration from 0 to pi by 2 root over sin x dx. So a is given as 0, b is given as pi by 2, fx is given as root over sin x. So you are given a limit, so a limit from a to b. So a is 0, this is pi by 2. It's a 5 point, so make the 5 point x1, x2 and x3. That will be a plus h. So what is h here? h equals to b minus a by n and that will be equals to b is pi by 2 minus 0 divided by n number of line segment is 4 so that will be equals to pi by 8 so x1 will be equals to pi by 8 that will be equals to 2 uh, h a plus 2 h so a plus 2 h will be equals to pi by 4 this that will be equals to a plus 3 h 3 pi by 8 all right That is pi by 2 given in the question. Okay then, IB will be equals to what? So, 2H by 45 F of A plus 32 into F of X1 plus 12 into fx2 plus 32 into fx3 plus 7 into fb please do the calculation and tell me the final answer okay so I'll wait for five minutes. So if you calculate, uh, you will get the answer as 1.1806. As a 7 FA, I have made mistake while writing the calculator. So that is the answer. Let us do a numerical here in the class itself instead of going to the next topic. Sorry? Okay. You got right on target now. All right. A rocket, write down the question, is launched from the ground. A rocket is launched from the ground. Will it stop? It's acceleration. Measured. every 5 second 5 seconds is tabulated is tabulated below find the velocity and the position you need to find the velocity as well as the position of the rocket
at t equals to 40 second okay use trapezoidal as well as Simpsons one by three rules compare the answers so you have given a table of time and acceleration at zero you again 40 as the same problem as in asking the question the final exam at five is 45.25 at 10 48.5 at 15 51.35 at 20 is quite a long table so 54 point at 20 is 54 point sorry this is 51.25 all right 51.25 at 15 at 20 it's 54.35 this is 51.25 this is 54.35 at 25 it's 59.48 at 30 61.5 